Hey, what's up Diablo fans? 5 here. In today's video, we are going to discuss our hardcore character that we have. Um, we've had a few people ask, you know, what is the build that you're going for in hardcore? What's some of the skills that you're using? Um, what's the gear that I should be looking at and um for leveling in hardcore? Because I mean, hardcore is a completely different game than softcore. Hardcore, you have one life and you want to make the most of it. Especially if you're looking for trophies and you want to get that level 30 uh uh, trophy where you reach level 30 in hardcore um but what i'm going with the type of build is a very tanky um using just um a shield and maybe a fist weapon or something along the lines of that with life steal or uh life on hit depending on what i can get my dps at we're not going to see crazy numbers like 200,000 300,000 400,000 dps uh, I'm going to be very lucky to break even 100,000 uh, DPS because I'm really, really looking forward uh, like a Storm Shield or something like that with all res built onto it um, and also have like a percentage to life and everything else like that. Uh, I'm going for a real, like I said, real tanky build, uh, high, high res build um, just because I want to be able to sustain uh, a lot of damage because I am going to be farming a lot in Act 3 key depths. So there's a lot to deal with uh, uh there so um gear right now is really not that great um it's actually kind of terrible um just because we're leveling up i'm not really looking forward to gear too much into detail if it has dax and vitality um, i'm definitely gonna put that on or you know any type of socket or anything else like that uh crit damage and crit chance is really not a big thing right now for me but down the road it definitely will be um and the skills that i'm going to be using uh, for for leveling is fist of thunder um i really like uh fist of thunder it deals a lot of damage in thunderclap you will be able to teleport and that does help out quite a bit um it's going to be really nice to use this if i have like a uh a wonkin lao because i'll be able to get that additional lightning damage um and then for my R2, I, I, I love wave, wave of Light because you can, you know, spam it with Empowered Wave because it lowers the cost of Spirit to 40 instead of 75. But with this, in case you get into a bind, you can spam your Wave of Light and be able to kill the enemies much faster. Also, when you're in 60 and you possibly have, say, uh, you have Lifesteal on, you know, you're going to be able to heal yourself. And then the next is Breath of Heaven. I love Breath of Heaven because it's like having a secondary potion because it it, it heals you. And then also it helps you out too because for 45 seconds you get a damage increase. Um, you know, that's not, you know, quite a lot uh, being, you know, at a low, low level. But for, you know, 15% is still very significant. Um, I do like the sweeping wind and what I use is master of wind and what I like about it is is that it's 20 seconds you're gonna hit a, an enemy within 20 seconds and it stays up I mean it's not you know it's not gonna be as crazy as a blade storm or firestorm which I might use try to use firestorm and maybe go with a fire build but I'm not sure um or cyclone cyclone is gonna be if you have a high crit chance but master of wind that's something you just don't have to worry about uh when when you're going through farming and everything else like that you put it up and you're going to be good to go for pretty much the whole entire run and because you're thinking about just you know survival 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 and that's very important um and let's go into the next skill and that is blinding flash um i'm still tinkering around with this skill but i like it because it blinds the enemies and you can blind them and you know you can spam wave of light so then you don't have to worry about you know those near-death experiences you can spam it and when you're 60 and you have maybe a lifesteal weapon you can spam this get your life back up or you know hit breath of heaven and then spam this and then you'll have a 15 percent more damage you know for 45 seconds when you do the wave of light so it'll be like um be like 870 um four percent damage um depending on how you know um how much your weapon is and everything else like that 
uh, my mantra that I'm using. I'm using mantra of healing. Um, when I get to level 60, um, what I like about this, uh, I'm able to, it increases life regen um, by 599 life per second. That's, that's still quite a bit, um, just to think about it. Now, when I get to level 60, like I said, I'm going for an all res build. I'm going to be, this is going to increase my resistance to 20%. I really want to have close to a thousand all res and maybe 80,000 to 100,000 life. Like I said, I'm probably not going to break 100,000 DPS whatsoever just because I'm going for such a tanky build because I want this character to last. And let's go into our passives. Um, the first passive that I am using is Exalted Soul. And the reason why I'm using that is it, your spirits increase by 100 in also regions. So then you're able to use more of your, um, your bell. Um, and, you know, that bell can save you know, the, your life down the road. So that's why I use it. I may switch it up when I get to 60 to see how everything is. Um, my second one that I use is Seize the Initiative. And your armor increases by 50% of your dexterity. And your armor is very, very important too, because you know that helps withstand um, damage, you know, when, when it's incoming. So uh, that is very good. I may switch it up. I haven't decided yet. Um and uh this one also that I use, it's every uh point of spirit uh spent heals you. So, I mean, this is another healing, and you're using, I mean, most of these are all spirit. If you take a look here, Wave of Light, or a Breath of Heaven that uses spirit. Uh, Wave of Light uses spirit. Um, Blinding Flash uses spirit. So, most of your, your skills are using spirit, so you're gaining life, um, in which that's, that's most important. I know once I get, you know, to 45 or down, you know, when I get 60, I'm going with one with everything. And that is just going to be an amazing, amazing um, uh, skill because you're going to be able to stack resistances. So say you make a killer piece that has fire resistance and has all res. Um, you're going to be able to stack that, so it'll count for two. So you'll be able to you know, have higher all res with this included. So you're going to be able to withstand more, more damage. Um, so that's going to be kind of nice. Um, for the follower... Um, I always use the scoundrel um, just so I can have the additional 3% crit uh, hit chance. Some people say it's not a lot, but it is quite a bit. And um, pretty much for gear, we'll get into that once I get to 60. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Um, and uh, if you guys like the channel, please, uh, you know, give a subscribe. We're almost 800 subscribers, which that's, that's amazing. I would have never, ever thought of that. Uh, making this video these videos but thank you guys so much uh put in your comment section below of if you have any other um input ideas of this build um you know like i said it's not finalized if somebody comes up with you know a cooler and a better more efficient build that is designed for what i want it to do then you know i will definitely try it out but thank you guys so much um be sure to like the video and leave a comment below take care guys